Google has made its play into the budding smartwatch market with a repurposed form of its Android operating system for your wrist. The first three smartwatches running Android Wear are hitting the market and I got to try one out, the $200 Samsung Gear Live. The 1.6 inch display is sharp, bright, and saves battery power when the screen is dimmed and produces less light. A sensor on the back of the watch is used to monitor your heart rate. Notifications are a central feature of the watch, which are meant to deliver useful information as you go about your day. The notifications appear as cards and are similar to the ones that might appear on your smartphone through Google Now. For more details on a notification, you swipe to the left. To get rid of one, you swipe to the right. The notifications are based on your history of interactions and data stored with Google, such as emails, searches, and appointments. The watch's functionality is primarily based on voice commands, which you can either tap on the home screen or say, OK Google, to launch. You can do an internet search, math calculation, set reminders, or get driving directions on your phone by using the navigation command. The send a text and take a note voice commands were the most useful for me. You can compose or reply to a text by dictating your message. One helpful feature is that after you've recorded a note, an email to yourself is automatically generated with the text from that note. For someone with a smaller wrist, the size of the watch feels and looks big. Google says other designs from watchmakers like Fossil are coming and Motorola's 360 smartwatch, which has a round face, is scheduled to launch later this summer. Smartwatches like Google's have the potential to become a widely used consumer product if they offer something interesting that improves on how we already use our smartphones. The Gear Live isn't there yet, and that's why I think you should wait to buy this watch until we see what developers do with it. Google hopes the Android Wear system will inspire developers to create new types of apps that make the watch and other wearable devices actually useful. But if you're already sold on the watch, you can pre-order it now in Google's Play Store and it'll ship on July 7th. In San Francisco, Melissa Aparicio, IDG News Service.